I just created this AI styling mobile app using this new AI tool. It's called Rocket.new. So this is basically a personal stylist mobile application. It suggests you different kind of outfits based on your location, your city where you are, and also based on what sort of weather there is in that location. It kind of did really good job. So it has this first option, which is add to wardrobe. If I just click on this, so in here you can see there are a lot of different options for my wardrobe. I can in fact take a photo of any of like my clothing item, and then I can search inside this wardrobe. Then there is this there's there's this there's this style me there is this style me option as well so based on my preferences it can actually create a custom unique style for me the most interesting thing at least personally for me is i asked it to create this app in expo in react native framework expo but it mentioned here that it will create this app in flutter which is really good for me because i am a big flutter fan i believe expo has a lot of limitations if you don't know about expo so this is expo this is a react native framework that we use to develop mobile applications so expo is a really convenient way to like build mobile applications the only problem is if you want to like build multiple mobile applications or if you are like constantly updating your application on Google Play Store or on Apple App Store so Expo can actually cause a lot of problems for you it will increase your build time and you'll have to like then keep waiting for hours and hours in queue to like create your basic test build let me just give you an example from one of my own applications so this is one of applications that I developed using Expo and in here you can see I have created a lot of these different builds so let me just show you this build that it created so this build you can see it was created on May 20th and you can see it took like 3 hours and 34 minutes to create this build and out of this 3 hours and 34 minutes 3 hours and 26 minutes was just queue time and build only took 7 minutes and 51 seconds now after it created this build because this is an apk file so now i had to like download this build and then like test this on my mobile device and if there was any issue in that particular build then i had to like create a new build and then like wait again for like 3 hours and like 40 minutes so this way i was like stuck with expo so that's why i decided to like recreate my application inside flutter so then i created my entire application inside flutter and then released a new update on google play store so using flutter i can create builds anytime locally on my computer i do not have to like get an access to a dashboard like expo and then create a build and then access and download that build from there and if you don't know most of these like web-based ai code editors like bold.new and lovable.dev they use expo to create mobile applications i have actually created a lot of videos on this channel where i show that how you can build mobile applications using flutter i will leave a link to the entire playlist where you can watch all of the videos related to flutter mobile applications developments okay so the problem with rocket.new is this tool only gives you 1 million tokens in your free tier and just to create this application it consumed already 173,000 tokens already and i still want to create like a lot more features something like ai styling sessions more personalized outfits and maybe like some sort of like virtual try on so to do that i will definitely have to like upgrade to their paid plan and that's what i don't want to do because their paid plan is 25 dollars per month which is i just don't want to do that so i think the right approach should be once you create your basic version of your mobile application then you can simply just download this source code you can simply just click on this download button just download this source code and now you can just open this source code in vs code let me just show you in a second that how you can just now open this source code in like maybe cursor ai or maybe like windsurf ai maybe like augment code or maybe something like tray ai so you can still use the free version of rocket.ai do your prototyping create your basic minimum viable product and then import this source code inside cursor ai or windsurf or something like augment code so let me just quickly show you that how you can import that project that you just downloaded from rocket.new and now it changes and now how you can open this project inside your cursor ai or like any other your native ai code editors so you can simply just extract this zip file that you just downloaded from uh, rocky.new you can simply just open that so this is your zip file now you can just copy this file from here now you can just open your favorite ide in my case i will use vr studio code and with vr studio code i'll be using augment code so augment code is a vs code extension so i'll just like use that and then open this project directly click on select folder and now you can see our project has been opened inside our vs code so the same project that we just created inside this rocket.new so i have just opened this inside vs code and now i'm going to like customize this project and like further build more features using augment code inside visual studio code now this is like my proper development environment i am not restricted to a web-based ai code editor this is good enough web-based AI code editors are like good enough to like create some basic mvps like basic maybe just like front-end screens but when it comes to like creating a full 
proper launchable project so i think in that case you need to have like a proper native developer experience now once you have opened this project the first thing that you can do you can simply just run this command which is flutter run so this will actually run your project on your computer or if you're just like a complete beginner and you have no idea how flutter works how any of these things work so you can just like ask your ai code editor that you are inside flutter project please run this project that's it like this is how simple and easy you can just like give it a simple prompt and ask it to like run this project or you can simply just run this command which is flutter run so let's just see what it does maybe it needs to like install some of the packages so let's just wait for our ai code editor to like finish everything and then run this project for us and right now you can see it just run this command which is flutter doctor and now it has just checked that everything is properly installed and right now it has just run this command which is flutter pub get this command actually downloads and install all of the packages which are required to run this particular project so now once it is done all of the packages are installed next step is now it will actually run this project by simply just running that command which is flutter run and after that it will just like open this app in our computer okay so right now you can see it has just run this command which is flutter run and now it is asking us to choose on which device we should run this project okay so perfect now our app is running on our computer and you can see our ai code editor has already finished like running this app there is this minor ui warning that you can see in here but we can totally fix that we can ask our ai code editor again to like fix this ui error but you can see we have our fully functional app in here and you can see all of the features that we had inside rocket.new we have all of those features inside our app locally on our computer so this workflow is good for you if you're an absolute beginner and you just want to like create a basic mvp or like our basic version of your application inside a web-based ai code editor you just don't want to like create everything from scratch inside your cursor ai or inside like your windsurf ai you want like some basic version of your application in a web-based ai code editor and then bring that inside your like cursor or like your windsurf or like your basic vs code or even in fact you can use client as well client is really good i actually created a full video where i showed you that how you can create a flutter mobile application using client so you can check that video as well so yeah, this kind of web-based AI tools are good you can just like start creating something very basic but the problem is you'll always be limited in that like web-based development environment so you need to like have your entire project source code inside locally on your computer and then you will have like complete control over your project so this workflow that i just showed you works really well for you if you are or an absolute beginner you have no idea where to start so i think this is how you can just like go to rocket.new you don't need to like buy their paid subscription this video is not sponsored by rocket.new by the way but if they're watching they can sponsor i'm just kidding so i just like start with rocket.new or like this kind of ai code editors but so far i have just like seen this one and only tool that allows you to create like flutter mobile application on this kind of like web-based ai code editor so you can just like go ahead and sign up and start using it for free and then create a basic version of, of your mobile application then bring it inside your cursor ai or inside your windsurf ai or inside just maybe like klein or maybe if you just have no money to spend on ai or like this kind of ai code editors so just use tray ai i have again like created like full videos on tray ai that how you can build mobile applications using tray ai so you can just like use those kind of ai code editors and then like build your complete full-fledged mobile application so once everything's done then you can just like create your apk files i have again separate videos on that topic that how you can monetize your applications how you can like create apk files and then publish your mobile application on google play store or on apple app store so i hope you really like this video if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video bye bye